Welcome back to another video. So today's video, as you will have seen, is about a big haul with both books and Shopee buys because I think it was 9.9. Yeah, 9.9 and I kind of went a bit crazy again. I don't think it's a lot, it's just that the value of those things are a bit pricier than what I used to buy. So this is going to be in two parts. So I think there will be timestamps down below and yeah. Let's get started. Welcome to the part of this video where we unbox my Shopee hauls. I have been waiting for everything to come so that I can unbox everything together. Let me show you everything together. All my packages. Let me count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six packages. Okay, so not the most, but I'm still excited by them. So, okay, let's start small. Let's start with this one, the smallest package, I believe. And let's open it together. I really hope I don't cut whatever is inside. Okay. It's so cute! Oh my god! So I got this for 10 cents for their flash sale and it's a sheet of stickers. It's so cute, eh? oh my gosh. I love the bubble tea over here and the stars. This is so cute, this is so worth the 10 cents. Although I had to walk quite far to my collection point to get it because I wasn't gonna pay $1 for something that's worth 10 cents, but it was worth it in the end because look at this, it's so cute. That's the first thing. Oh, I think it's gonna end quite fast. Let's open this one. My second item. Oh gosh. This was also worth 10 cents. Oh my god, it's so cute. Can you see it? It says thank you for supporting my small business. Okay, let's open it. Wow. Oh my god. So this is what's inside. This is the item that I got. <laughs> it's basically a phone stand. Okay, so let's open it together. Okay, so it should work. How does this work? I'm very confused. So this is a phone stand. I'm not sure how it will hold my phone, but we can try. So I'll just put it over here. Let me drag it closer. And then I'm gonna put my phone like that. Oh! Oh my god, so there's this thing over here that it will prevent the phone from sliding out also. Okay, but I just have to find the correct angle. Oh, I think there's only one slant angle. Okay, but it seems to work fine. Just that it's a bit high, the degree that is tilted. Then I got this thing also. The name is this one. It says that it comes from the love translation of Alice in Wonderland, which means that the closer your footsteps are, the faster my heart beats. I feel like I can flatten this into a bookmark. Oh, I got stickers! Oh my god, wait, for 10 cents though? What the hell? Do you not think that these two are like matching? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Kind of a really good buy. And I also got a sticker for their shop. Yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just display this. Display my little phone over here <laughs> while I pack everything back. So these will be added to my sticker collection. This box is also super cute. Like, wow. The next smallest item, I'm very really, very really excited for this, I know what this is. This is a Logitech mouse. I hope the colour is not this because I did not get this colour. 
I wanted to get a Logitech mouse a Logitech mouse because the mouse that I currently have it keeps burning my batteries I change a battery every few months every few weeks so I thought it was time to get a change and my friend recommended Logitech so I got it on Shopee And apparently the clicks are softer for this one also. Where's the whole <gasps> Yay! I'm so happy! Oh my god! I'm gonna use it immediately, so let's peel the plastic off together. Oh my gosh, I feel so satisfying. And it's so small. I think that clicks are softer. Ah, okay, so this is the USB and this is the on button. Yes. Very excited to try it out later. Okay, I also know what this is. <laughs> and I'm kind of not so excited for this because it means that I have to start soon. I bought skipping rope. Okay, I'm not gonna open this until when I actually am going to skip. But I bought this because I wanted to get back in touch with skipping, aka my childhood. Ah, I hope it goes well. Yeah. Okay. Second last parcel already. This is so sad. Okay, but I'm very excited for this because I'm going to try it immediately. So we have to take a pause for this video before we unbox the last item. Okay. So I got coffee sticks, okay, so this is the two of them, this is tiramisu latte and the other side is brown sugar latte, it kind of smells super good and the last thing that I got was this one which is Kanu's vanilla latte, I think you would have known that I have bought the whole batch of Kanu sticks before so yeah, oh, the owner gave me a free corn silk tea. I do not drink this, I will let my dad try it out. <laughs> okay, so let's pause the video while I go and make one of this because I really need my coffee. I am back! Coffee has been made as you would have seen over here. I couldn't decide which one to try so I used a random wheel as always and I feel like I prefer this better to the Kanu one. I'm not sure if it's intentional but there are like little bits. I think it's coffee 
I'm not sure if it's just my hot water wasn't hot enough, but it feels like little bits that you can taste when you drink it, you know, and I feel like the tiramisu taste is stronger also. But maybe because it's sweeter also. Anyway, on to our last package. I am so sad. But it's also the biggest one. <laughs> I really hope it's good. Yeah, let's open this together. Okay. So I got two shirts. Okay, this is the first design. And this is the second design. Okay, I am gonna open one. Okay, I feel like it's a just nice kind of shirt. Okay, I'll try it on later. Second one. We shall pause again <laughs> while I go try on. I am back even though it seems like I never left, but I went to try on the two shirts. So I'll now put a video overlaying what just happened. The whale one was kind of oversized. And not bad, just that it's a little bit oversized, so I have to either tuck it in or just, I don't know, look, make it have like a baggy kind of feel. On the other hand, the Sun Point one fits me the most out of all the shirts that I've bought from this shop, which is just four. <laughs> it's very, very just nice. It's not super fitting, but it's a bit loose, which is the kind that I like. Not overly loose, it's just a just nice kind of feel. And I really like it also. I can finally have a place. I really like this Shopee stall because the shirts that I've gotten from them, the designs are really cute and it's really cotton. Unlike some of the other shirts that I've bought from Shopee, they turn out to be this kind of polyester feel or like kind of dry fit P t-shirt kind of feel. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this portion of my Shopee unhaul. I will now cut to the second half of this video where we unbox books together. So this part will be for the books and I'm very excited. So all these books were kindly sent to me by Times Reads over on Instagram. So I just wanted to include it in the video as well. Very thankful to them and Jamie for sending books to me as always. You have my whole heart. <laughs> Let's unbox this big guy together. Actually, not, not that big actually, but it feels a bit heavy. Yeah, before we officially get started, if you would like to see more of such videos, consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up so that I know that you want me to do more of these kind of videos. Let me unbox it like this, then we will all see together. I'm doing something that is very not advised, so please be careful when you're using a pen knife, not like how I'm doing it now. Oh my god, I can kind of see the books already. So this is what I see. We can try to unbox together. Ooh, okay, okay. I have heard of this one. Let me do this one by one. So the first book that I see is Nora Goes Off Script. Nora's life is about to get a rewrite. Nora Hamilton knows the formula for love better than anyone. As a romance channel screenwriter, it's her job. But then her too good to work husband leaves her and their two kids, and Nora turns her marriage's collapse into cash, writing the best script of her life. When the script is picked up for the big screen and set to film at her hundred year old home with former sexiest man alive Leo Vance cast as her ex-husband, Nora's life will never be the same. After shooting the raps, Nora finds Leo on her porch with a half empty bottle of tequila and a proposition. He'll pay a thousand dollars a day to stay for a week. She could use the money but it's the need in his eyes that makes her say yes. Seven days is the blink of an eye or an eternity depending on how you look at it. Enough time to fall in love, enough time to break your heart. It's a romance! I feel like this might be a women's fiction. But, oh, it's quite thin actually. This is 257 pages. Okay, feels like it can be a book that I can squeeze in for those kind of timed readathon things. Okay, very excited for this one. The next book that I see is The Darkening. It's an advanced reading copy for July 2022. Okay, let me see. Oh my god, it's, a, it's so pretty. This is a girl. Eh? What the heck? Yo, and then there's like the cities. And I, I think this, is a, <gasps> this whole thing is a tornado. What? This is so, wow. Okay, I haven't heard of this before, but let me read you the blurb. 
Everything you want will be yours if only you dare to enter the storm. Vespa Vale is the daughter of revolutionaries, failed revolutionaries. When her mother was caught by the Regius soldiers, they gave her a choice. Death by the hangman's axe or death by the storm that surrounds the city and curses anyone it touches. She chose the storm. When the Regius soldiers, led by a paranoid prince, catch up to Vespa's father, after 12 years on the run, Vespa will do whatever it takes to save him from sharing that fate. Even arm herself with her father's book of dangerous magic, even infiltrate the prince's elite squad of soldier sorcerers, even cheat her way into the prince's cold heart. But when Vespa learns that there's more to the story of her mother's death, she'll have to make a choice if she wants to save her city. Trust the devious prince with her family's secrets or follow her mother's footsteps into the storm. Okay, so I think this is fantasy. This is 390 pages, so significantly longer than this one. But oh my god, okay, so we have had two genres so far. The third book is A Curse of Queens. Oh, this is very heavy. Is it something to do with the paper? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like a hefty book. I also haven't heard of this one. Oh, oh, oh my god, this is an arc. It's out October 4th. This is a fourth book. This is the fourth book in the series, and I haven't read the first three. Oh no. Okay, we shall see whether I can do something about it. But okay, let me read you the blurb for the fourth book in the series. The War of Gods is just beginning. After centuries of conflict, the three kingdoms of Taluria have finally been reunited, but now the queen has been cursed, the royal lineage has been broken, and no one knows who's behind the plot to threaten the once fractured realm's fragile new peace. Desperate to help Jocasta, the king's younger sister and a gifted healer, hatches a daring plan to find Cersei's garden, a fabled island where she hopes to discover an antidote. But she can't do it alone. She needs the strong arm and unflinching bravery of the warrior she's loved since childhood. Her brother's right-hand man and captain of the guard, Flynn of Sinta. Flynn has spent years fighting to deny the desperate longing burning between them, but he cannot allow Jocasta to face this danger alone. He swears he will be her shield, and together they will do the impossible. Yet, with old feelings blazing bright and treachery brewing on Mount Olympus, one thing is clear, Taliria and its new royals are still pawns in an epic game of power, one that might end in a war of gods. Oh, this feels like a high fantasy. And this is... Oh, we have a... What's this? Oh, we have a guide. Guide to Taliria and the gods. And then it's the key players. Oh my god, I love when books do this kind of stuff. Anyway, this is 462 pages. So I think it's the thickest out of the three so far. Although I don't know if I have to read the first three books to get to this one. We shall see. I hope the camera angle hasn't changed too much because I just needed a bubble tea break. <laughs> I just got normal milk tea from 9fresh, 25% sugar. The next book that I see... Oh no, it's kind of, it's kind of bent. But it's okay. This one is The Mutual Friend, co-creator of How I Met Your Mother. It's the summer of 2015 and Alice Quick needs to get to work. She's 28 years old, grieving her mother and barely scraping by as a nanny. If she can just get her act together and sign up for the MCAT, she can start chasing her dream of becoming a doctor. But in the age of distraction, the distractions are so distracting. <laughs> There's her millionaire brother's a religious awakening, his picture-perfect wife's emotional breakdown, her chaotic new roommate's thirst for adventure, and of course, the biggest distraction of all, Love. From within a story of one summer in Manhattan, an epic tale is unearthed of destiny, self-discovery, and the search for meaning. Spanning continents and featuring a tapestry of personalities tied to one another by threads both seen and unseen. This is also quite thick. This is 463 pages. I mean, this is thicker if you count like the guide and the key players, but these two are kind of about the same length. I think this is a contemporary might be contemporary romance, not so sure, but yes, we have this one, the fourth book. Okay, fifth. We have The No Family by Grace K. Shim. Chloe Chang may be an 18-year-old obsessed with K-dramas, but she never expected her real life would turn into one. That's pretty much what happens when a DNA test reveals her deceased father's estranged family. It turns out the No's own a famous high-end department store in Seoul, and they are rich rich. When they learn about their genetic connection, they immediately invite her to visit. Chloe's mother is against the trip. She had her reasons for keeping Chloe's dad's family away. 
Against her mother's wishes, Chloe is soon whisked from Tulsa, Oklahoma into the lap of luxury in Seoul, enjoying sessions with a personal trainer, a handsome chauffeur at her back and call, state-of-the-art med spa days and more. And although her newfound grandmother, her harmony is warm and welcoming, Chloe can't help but feel like she's being kept at arm's length from her other family members. Why would they invite Chloe to Seoul if not to get to know her? There may be an even bigger family secret for Chloe to discover. Could joining the No family be worse than having no family at all? Oh, oh my god, look at how pretty this cover is. Oh my gosh. No family. No family, okay. Oh, it's really damn pretty. It's like a, what's that called? A webtoon kind of style. Yeah. Okay, this is 372 pages. And I'm quite excited to get into this actually. I hope the writing is not super YA, this feels like a YA. Yeah, and I think it might have mentions of key dramas. Oh, oh. Jesse Q Sutanto from the author of Dowie for Aunties blurb this. Link to my previous video if you have not already seen it where I read her book inside that video. Okay. Okay, we're on to the last book already. It is so sad. Okay, so the last book is The Cherry Roberts by Sarah Walker. And I have never heard of this before. New Mexico 2017, Sylvia Wren is one of the most important American artists of the past century. Known as a recluse, she avoids all public appearances. There's a reason. She's living under an assumed identity, having outrun a tragic past. But when a hungry journalist starts chasing her story, she's confronted with whom she once was, Iris Chapel. Connecticut 1950, Iris Chapel is the second youngest of six sisters, all heiresses to a firearms fortune. They've grown up cloistered in a palatial Victorian house, mostly neglected by their distant father and troubled mother who believes that their house is haunted by the victims of chapel weapons. The girls long to escape and for most of them the only way out is marriage but not long after the first chapel sister walks down the aisle she dies of mysterious causes a tragedy that repeats with the second leaving the rest to navigate the wreckage to heart-wrenching consequences. Ultimately Iris flees the devastation of her family and so begins the story of Sylvia Wren but can she outrun the family curse forever? I think this sounds like historical fiction but I I really have never heard of this before but the spine is very interesting okay so with that we have finished unboxing the six books ah, let me show you these are the six books that i received from oh no eh? oh yeah <laughs> okay everything is okay guys everything is okay don't worry no books were harmed i thought i received six and then when i lifted it up i was like eh but don't worry it's six it's six Okay, so these are the six books that I have received from Times Reads. Thank you so much to them for sending me all these and I hope that I'll be getting to them soon. And yeah, me again in a different day, in a different outfit. I just came to add on that I also wanted to show you one more book that I actually unboxed in a previous video. I'm going to show you the book now also because it's also a book haul. Yeah, so I got A Magic Steeped in Poison and let me refer you to the video where I read it already. I essentially loved it a lot so I decided to get the book to put on my shelves and have it on my collection so if you can see over here yeah this one this was where i put the book so it was facing out yeah okay let me just read to you the description for ning the only thing worse than losing her mother is knowing that it's her own fault she was the one who unknowingly brewed the poison tea that killed her mother the poison tea that now threatens to also take her sister's shoe when ning hears of a competition to find the kingdom's greatest shen nong shi masters of the ancient and magical art of tea making she travels to the imperial city to compete the winner will receive a favor from the princess which may be ning's only chance to save her sister's life but between the backstabbing competitors the bloody court politics and a mysterious and handsome boy with a shocking secret ning might actually be the one in more danger it's so pretty oh my gosh i'm very happy to have my own copy to hopefully one day reread and annotate and have all my tabs and i also hope that i enjoy the concluding book to this duology so that's all that i wanted to come in and say so we have now reached the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you're still here please comment uh, a coffee emoji because tada if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of my videos please consider subscribing to my channel and i hope you're having a great day a great week remember to hydrate yourselves i'm currently hydrating myself with bubble tea but please hydrate yourselves with water i will see you in my next video